So we're working with a nonprofit called All We Are, and their main mission is to install solar panels on top of schools in rural Uganda. The current electric grid in Uganda isn't really that widespread, so it doesn't reach to the rural areas. Even where there is access to electricity, it's not reliable. It's really hard for students to like even have light in their schools. And they've had an issue of people stealing the different components, such as light bulbs, primarily from their installation site. In some of the areas, there aren't a lot of jobs, so people will do kind of whatever it takes to make some money and, and get food for their families. So. Um, they have been stealing some of the components from these electrical systems and then sell that material. They came to us requesting that we come up with some sort of security system in an attempt to thwart all these, uh, all these thefts. So for our project, we're designing an open circuit based alarm system that uh, alerts them of any theft attempts on those locations uh, through SMS messaging as well as a data log. So this is a really special opportunity for me. I've volunteered in the past, but I've never worked this closely with a nonprofit that impacts uh, so many students in a different country. So when we first started working with this nonprofit, it was really exciting to be able to have that opportunity, but I never could have imagined that we would be actually going to Uganda um, to directly you know, meet all of these students and see how it was impacting them. It's going to be the difference between um, just a design and an actual implementable project. We plan to be bringing our own security system to be able to test what we've created in the environment that it's actually going to be used. And with that, we'll be able to gather data and uh, make the necessary changes that we'll need to and to ensure that the system works efficiently. We've been putting together a really detailed project uh, testing plan for when we're there. We want to test the communication subsystem. Um, so we're, we're kind of unsure of how our SIM cards will work with the network there and if we'll be able to send and receive messages from all of the different schools in rural areas because the network coverage um, is kind of spotty in certain areas. Uh, working on a project remote like we're doing uh, is incredibly difficult. Uh, you know, it's hard to understand a system and see a system um, from a design point of view uh, when working thousands of miles away. We also are going to test our solar panel over there and um, it'll be during the rainy season right now so we're kind of interested to see how that would affect like the solar um, output that we're able to get from that panel. So we have gone through a few iterations. Uh, I know there's been some expansions uh, as far as the functionality of our system. So uh, in theory, at first we just wanted to make sure to deter the theft. And then second semester we've expanded to be able to send an SMS message uh, to alert them immediately um, of any theft attempts as well as data log the system so that they have data to uh, find trends uh, as well as um, try to see where they can improve the systems and make sure that they're focusing on the areas that they need to focus on. Uh, I'd say one struggle about this project is that All We Are wants us to buy everything we possibly can from the Ugandan market, so it makes it a little harder because things that we buy here to use to make our project we might not be able to find in Uganda. Uh, so far we found most of it, but we're trying to like cut costs by like finding a smaller wire or just like, there's some components that we haven't been able to find yet but we're still looking for, so it's probably one of the more difficult parts of the project. But just for a senior design project, just being a part of a team working on actual projects of just learning the theory is definitely a great experience. And then just being involved in a group such as All We Are who's using engineering to help make the world a better place. We were really lucky and um, it definitely means the world to us to be able to go and, and meet the people from Uganda that were working so hard here to help. Just being able to interact with those people and see where they're coming from and what our project's like actually doing and what we can do to make our project better is a great experience. I'm really excited for it and happy we're able to go. Really, really incredible to um, be there and really get to see not only just Kampala, but the villages and see what it means to, um, I guess, not have the opportunity that we have. You know, each and every day, see the things that I'm taking for granted and really experience um, something far different than the life that I live today. How's everyone feeling? Good. Ah. <laughs>